welcome along to the channel today we are going to be looking at domes um, i will be preparing a dome um, the history of domes uh, the astromech.net website has got this fantastic page uh, put together by jason smith with a whole history of domes you know and i mean starting off with the dave everett dome uh, which was a, a single layer aluminium 18 and a half inch hemisphere there were there were so many other offerings you know from the weber grill um, I believe that was a steel one, but it only cost $20 shipped, my goodness. Uh, there were fiberglass domes, lampshade domes, B&Q, barbecue domes, spun aluminium domes. You had the RNJ dome, the CNJ dome. Um, and today, what I'm showing you right now, this is the R2 that I built. This is the 300 mil dome that is available to the Astromech R2 Builders Group, courtesy of Darren Mura of Granite Earth. Um, yes it's actually 297 mil tall with a diameter of 18.2 inches laser cut with an alley dome ring uh it's a really easy dome to work on it's not a spun dome so you don't get the spin lines the originals the film ones you will see spin lines right so it's desirable to have spin lines but this one doesn't have that effect you there is ways of doing it do you know what i mean but um it, yeah it's probably the most popular dome with club builders with new builders in, in recent years most definitely so that is the 300 mil dome available that is one of the most popular domes available at the moment but what you're looking at on the screen right now are domes that are available in germany from brutus uh, i'll put their website links below you do need to be a member of the forum of the club to be able to purchase any of these items all right um so you know do go to astromech.net in the first instance if you're thinking of building uh, dread these domes are amazing they do have spin lines they are aluminium laser cut domes um, I have not had one of these to work on so I cannot comment but it looks straightforward to me they look like very very nice domes indeed um, and they're coming at 450 euros all right so definitely a consideration to have but now we move on to a, a, a new addition all right it's been a long many years in, in in the pipeline but this is the offering from lee towsery the lee t dome this dome is very very special because as you will know lee and oliver worked on the film so they made the dome so this dome is literally made in the same way um in the same factories I, I assume everything else basically made by lee do you know what i mean so this is as close as you're gonna get to a film um canon spec dome if that makes sense um yeah this is special very special i i would i would even suggest it's worth buying one of these um you know and just having it sitting up in your loft <laughs> I mean, seriously this is for me this is as close as you can get to um to having an accurate dome because this is exactly the same way that he he made them for the film so you know what i mean this, this is fantastic i'm very pleased to have one of these and what makes it even nicer is that he signed the inside you know what i mean so yeah this is cool um i'll tell you what we're this we're gonna have a look at um these domes actually being laser cut uh lee said that i could use this this is um, some footage now now lee on lee towsery if you go to lee towsery on youtube he has got tutorials um along with sam prentice on building these domes making these domes like cutting them etc it's really really worth looking through really worth um watching you know what i mean uh so yeah if, if if you don't get enough out of my video now definitely go visit those videos but do check out his, his um youtube channel and you know it's, it, you're going to see quite a lot of work on there on the on the q85 system on domes and all sorts and i mean so definitely informative but right now yo we got some work to do let's get into it so the first thing to mention looking at the picture you see you have to identify what is the inner dome and what is the outer dome so when you look on the picture uh you will see the one that has um the circle and the top cut out uh, more of the um the the rectangles on the outside cut out is the outside dome all right um and what we're going to do is pop out all of these um, rectangles firstly we're looking at the inner dome and these are panels that are not going to be used all right so they just have little slits um and you're working back on the forward back on the forward until they pop out very easy yeah get some some of them a little bit tougher and more difficult like you can see this one have a little problem with this one 
Uh -huh. Well, you know, you get your fingers in. These are different. You need to cut these out. So you need a hacksaw blade um, or something similar. I will show you in a minute and you cut them out. That's the inner dome. The same on the outer dome. You need to cut the, these panels out and be careful because these panels are on the outside. These are the ones you're going to paint blue. They're going to be um, visible. All right. So you can see they've got notches. Anything with a notch is going to be used. All right. So the notches um, give it away. Um, when, when when they just have the you know the very small uh, bit holding it on they're ones that pop out so yeah so this is the blade i use i've used this blade this actual blade i should have replaced it by now i've used this to do um three domes uh i really should have replaced it uh, but you know what it does a job fine so yeah i'm a bit ragamuffin that's just how i do things so separating the domes getting them ready and yeah we're gonna yeah i'm gonna pop some panels out That's the inner dome uh, done and now it's time for the outer dome take more care of the outer dome I I, I love I love weathered um, droids so I always make a point of not being careful <laughs> when I'm cutting or using tools so if I look a scratch here a ding here for me it adds to the weathering so you see the side see that little that big mark up on the side that's how I got the dome. That's not from Lee. I got this from through someone else. Um, so I didn't get it directly from Lee. So I'm not Lee. Lee wouldn't send it out like that. But that that's how I was, I got the dome um, and that mark. And I'm cool with that, man. That's great weathering. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I, I beat up I beat up R2 as, as I build him, and it adds to the weathering. Natural weathering is beautiful. Uh, if you're looking for a really clean droid, do be very very careful. You know, take a lot more time. Um, with what you're doing now what i did notice with this dome compared to the 300 mil dome from um darren is is i, I f this was much more it, it just felt much softer i had to be very careful i, I realized you know but it was getting um squashing a, a lot easier and I, I didn't notice that with darren's dome i found that one much a much stronger dome um but with this one you need to take care when you're cutting this panel do not put weight on top of the dome because it could cave in now the outer dome it, if it does cave in a little bit all is not lost because it's going to go on the other dome and that could form it back into shape again you know what i mean um but do take time with it um it is it does seem to be a lot softer uh than the other dome and i say that just for when you're working on it because once you put them two together it's solid you know it's a solid dome so yeah man so basically i'm not going to bore you I cut these panels out so all the panels here I cut out um, some panels you know they might give you a bit of trouble take longer 
Uh, you just gotta be patient and you've got a lay these ones that keep these ones separate to the panels from the inner dome so panels from the inner dome you, you, they, 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 that's not going to be used again um that's waste these are your panels these are your panels that you're going to be spray painting so yeah so using your blade cut them out i wouldn't recommend using power tools i wouldn't recommend using a dremel some people do i, I wouldn't um i think this just does the job nice and easy man it's smooth it's quick and you know we're gonna we're gonna bring a file next that's gonna be the next step okay so time for filing uh, i've got my trusty file this file has has been to work only ever on rtd 2s it's done a lot of work uh these are the notches you need to file down the notches that held all the panels on that you cut off earlier you now need to file all of those get rid of them they need to be gone uh take time remember aluminium it can be a very soft material so you have to take time don't put too much pressure on it um i was also trying to be quiet for my neighbors because i noticed the doors open so you know you can get it in a position where it's a bit quieter but aluminium can be real noisy when you're filing it so yeah file down everything and then you will end up with an inner dome and outer dome um the bottom rings also need to be cut off um and file down you see them there on the right um the bottom ring and the blue ring um, make sure you mark up which is which so the dome is ready it's ready to paint it's it's ready to um, drill holes for hinges um for the for the hps which you would drill all on the inner dome um the outer dome would then hide those count the sink the the um, bolts remember that i had the captive um screws if you're using those so yeah i hope this was informative i hope it was um, enjoyable and i will be doing part two as we continue to build the dome Bless. Yeah. 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 Yeah.